So as many of you know, Flora, which was the first line trial evaluating the use of osimertinib versus either erlotinib or gefitinib in the management of patients with stage four EGFR mutant non-small cell lung cancer was a positive trial that led to the adoption of osimertinib in the stage four setting. The question has been, can we use this drug in the adjuvant setting? And Audora was um, reported at ASCO 2020. Uh, as some of you know, this was a large phase three randomized trial for stage 1b to 3a non-small cell lung cancers, again, having the activating EGFR mutation. About 682 patients were randomized to receive osimertinib for three years versus placebo. All patients could receive standard of care chemotherapy. And preliminary data were uh, revealed at ASCO this year, and we found a disease-free survival advantage for the patients that received osimertinib with a hazard a ratio of 0.17 of, as the primary endpoint, which is quite a spectacular improvement if you think about delaying recurrence for this very special group of patients. And then if you specifically look at stage 3A patients, the hazard ratio was 0.12. Um, I think these are very interesting data. Uh, there has been a lot of debate in the community about whether to use it or not, since we don't have an overall survival advantage. At least from the preliminary presentation at ASCO, the overall survival hazard ratio comes in at 0.4. So I think in my opinion, this is a very positive trial. I would like to discuss this for any of my patients that have an EGFR mutation and have had surgical resection and uh, standard of care therapy after surgical resection. I think this also um, underscores the importance of making sure that we're testing all our patients. And even though uh, testing in this early stage setting is not standard of care right now, as it is in the stage four setting, I think this trial exemplifies why we must look for these targetable mutations even early on.